Thank you very much for joining me on this Saturday. I'm Brian Shields. Let me get to four tropical waves in the first one starting to work into the Caribbean. I do not see any development out of that. There's not a ton of rain with it, but again, right here moving into Guyana near Trinidad and Tobago today, that is the first tropical wave that's going to slide in and it will bump up the rain chance for some of us. Now, yesterday we did get a few welcome showers over toward Belize, parts of Belize, Curacao, we saw that. So things are gradually starting to get more active, but out there in the the Atlantic. Here's the uh, open waters of the Atlantic. Caribbean right here, much more active. Again, just two weeks ago when I was showing you this map, there was nothing out there. But now there's not only one tropical wave, there's a train of them. One, two, three, four tropical waves that have come off the coast of Africa. All four I do not expect to develop. This time of year, you get a lot of wind shear, so the chance of development in these is very, very low. But with that said, we know across the Caribbean, you don't need a name system to give us flooding issues. So I'm gonna keep an eye on each of these. Now, there's not a lot of rain with the first two, a little bit more with the uh, second two. So I'll watch as we go over the next few weeks and really throughout the rest of the hurricane season, how these progress in case we do get any flooding concerns. Now, looking at the uh, big picture now, this blob up here by South Carolina and North Carolina, that was the area that had a small chance of development that is moving inland, watching some of the rain very close to uh, Bermuda again, but scattered showers possible even over the next few hours near Jock Mel as we get into the south side of Haiti, we get over toward Jamaica, we'll see some scattered showers. Again, the picture as a whole more active, even just off to the west of Aruba right now, little blob of some rain and storms. Eastern Pacific side, a flare up here, not seeing any signs of development as well on the Eastern Pacific side, but I'll keep an eye on that as we go forward. So let me get into the uh, uh, forecast as a whole. Then I want to get into specific forecasts and talk a little bit more about the hurricane season. So this is this afternoon and you see things getting more active. Spotty showers and you see the Central Caribbean, that's a change in the the pattern. You see some rain and storms around. So Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, another chance of getting a few showers. Isolated Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, and El Salvador. But spotty showers and storms, parts of the Bahamas. It was wet at times, especially the northern Bahamas yesterday. Watching Cuba, Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic for some downpours. That could lead to some isolated flooding. British, U.S. Virgin Islands, passing shower. Puerto Rico will get a few. But you see some of the extra rain. St. Lucia, Barbados, Dominica, Martinique, Guadeloupe, down through Grenada. St. Vincent of the Grenadines, including over toward Trinidad. The rain chance bumping up with this tropical wave moving in. Widespread rain, Guyana and Suriname. So moving forward into our Sunday afternoon. And you see those spotty showers still around watching over toward the Turks and Caicos. But look at that rain chance picking up. Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, Suriname, a bump in the rain chance. Some of this may feed up toward Barbados and St. Lucia and then try to pull back toward St. Vincent and the Grenadines and Grenada. So point being, the rain chance isn't super high. It's not the highest we've seen. But again, that rain chance with that first tropical wave will be uh, increasing some of the uh, uh, rain threats uh, for us over the next couple days. Working our way into Monday, you see Monday. Now look at this in the Western Caribbean. Honduras and Belize, a slightly better chance. There may be a little weak area of low pressure, a little weak storm system that tries to develop in the Western Caribbean next week and then kind of shoot to the north. So I'll keep an eye on that, which means for some of us that rain chance could increase further. Cayman Islands in Jamaica, but scattered showers as we work our way into Monday. And look at Monday, Trinidad and Tobago again, Guyana, Suriname, because of that first tropical wave, that rain chance is on the higher side. Antigua and Barbuda and Guilla, St. Kitts and Nevis over toward Montserrat the next few days over towards Saba. It's going to be the passing uh, shower variety. A little bit more to the west, a little bit more has been down to the south. we kind of been caught in between. And you can see it here in Guilla, Antigua, and Barbuda. Passing shower, if you get one, we could get about 10 millimeters plus. But southern, as we get into the southeastern Caribbean, look at Trinidad and Tobago. Some of the brighter colors showing up. So the next couple days, this is all the way through tomorrow night. We could get a few spots getting 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain a little bit higher in some locations, and again, even more than that, through Guyana and Suriname. Grenada, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines will be right on the edge of some of this. We'll keep an eye on that chance of some of the uh, scattered showers. We work our way back into the Western Caribbean. Honduras will get some areas of downpours. We'll get a few thunderstorms. Belize, again, some spots dry. Others could get a quick 50 millimeters of rain, very similar to what we had yesterday. But again, as I mentioned, into next week, I'll be watching out for an overall higher chance. Some downpours, 
Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia. Then as we work our way into Jamaica again, some scattered showers and storms. That pattern is going to continue across Jamaica. Cayman Islands just spotty, but next week we'll have a better chance. So Belize, for example, today, as expected, about a 40% chance. Not for all of us, but scattered showers and storms. Tomorrow and Monday, more in the way of isolated stuff, about a 30% chance. Let me know in the comments uh, where you are if you do get some rain. Please keep me posted on that. Jamaica, you see that elevated chance, 50, 60% chance today, tomorrow, and as we get into Monday. It's not all day stuff. It's really going to favor the afternoon and evening like we've had the last few days. Now, we are seeing some rain south side of Haiti this morning, so I'll keep an eye on that. The next few days, rain chance across Haiti stays elevated. That could lead to some isolated flooding. Watch out if you get some downpours or downpours nearby, quick rises in the river levels, uh, rivers and streams by some of those crossings. U.S. and British Virgin Islands, rain chance 50% today, a 30% chance tomorrow, a 30% chance on Monday. Watching over towards St. Croix, watching St. Martin, for example, looking at about a 30-40% chance of a passing shower. Curacao, rain chance 20 to 30%. But again, that is better than the near 0% chance that we had last week and really over the last couple months. Working our way toward Grenada, rain chance bumping up a notch because again, that tropical wave moving in. 30% chance today, tomorrow a 40% chance, 40% chance on Monday. Same thing for St. Vincent and the Grenadines, about a 40% chance of rain as we work our way into tomorrow. Trinidad and Tobago, I showed you on that tropical computer model. More green around, so that rain chance is going to get higher. 40% chance today, but tomorrow, a 70% chance of rain. Headed out to church tomorrow, we'll be on the lookout for some rain nearby. So please, please keep me posted in the comments on what you get, where you are, have your location down, and again, let me know Let me know if it's sunny or let me know if you're getting rain. Whatever's going on, I'll be checking that. Suriname, that rain chance stays high, 60, 70, 80% chance of rain, Guyana included, and we'll see that right into next week. Now, as we get into the hurricane season, just days away now, it starts June 1st, usually we get a name system or two in June, and then it quickly ramps up July, most of the uh, heaviest weather, or at least heaviest action, August, September, October, that's when we get most of the uh, stuff, most of the tropical storms and hurricanes as we get into the hurricane season. But again, about to get into June, it's about to kick off. We already see those tropical waves moving in. So the first tropical wave arriving. Again, as I showed you, for some of us, that means that rain chance is going to go up. Now, out of the four tropical waves, I don't expect any development, but as they move in, I'll see how much rain hangs together with them to see if we do get any flooding concerns. Again, we don't need a name system to have problems in the uh, Caribbean. And watching the old fronts to the north of us, like that rain moving in to the southeastern United States. I keep an eye on those old fronts for the potential of a spin up. By the way, Bermuda, again, that rain chance staying on the high side. And as I mentioned earlier, in the Western Caribbean, there may be a little area of low pressure, a little storm system trying to develop next week. But hurricane season kicking off on June 1st. So lots going on, four tropical waves out there. I will be on top of them for you until I see you again. I hope you have a good day ahead.